Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today we have this problem called check if it's uh, if it is a, a straight line. You are and the problem is that you are given an array called uh, coordinates. Uh, coordinates of i has two. Um, it's an array that has two values x and y, where x and y represent the coordinate of the point. Check if these points make a straight line in x and y. You have this one and. Uh, before going to this problem i just want to say something that it's right now it's a pretty famous that we have a lot of problems that including the mathematical equations in them so these types of problem they are quite easy if you know the math behind this this solution because if you find the math it's really easy if you don't know the math you'll just suffer so how uh, could we solve this problem so if you want if you want to know if this if this line is a straight first of all we get the difference in, in 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 y between the first element and the second element and get the difference in x in the first element and the second element and and we should loop through each other element and and the 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 difference in y between the first two first element multiplied by um, uh, the, the the difference between this specific element and the first and the first element should be equals the difference between the x axis between this element multiplied uh, the, the the difference between the first two elements multiplied by the 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 x the x uh, the difference between the x and the zero i guess you didn't understand what i'm saying it's it's it doesn't it doesn't seems easily to be understood but when i put in the code it will be way more easy to understand or we'll do something let's just go to the let's just go here i guess if we put in the sketch it will be way better So, the math behind this problem. Let's just talk about the math. So we have, we want to get. We have this right now. It will be x and y. And x and y. So we will get something called delta x. And this will equals the difference between the x of the first value and the x of the second value so it should be one okay and let's have dy and it will equals the difference between y and y and it should be also one okay if you want to know if these are the the other things are in the same line with the first two because any two lines they are in the straight lines it becomes when we have the third one to make sure. So how we know that th this third one is in the straight line? So and the, the difference between three and one is two, okay? And four and the the the, the, the last one is also two, okay? However, the equation th that if we multiply these values and we multiply these values they should equal each other so the, the difference between one and two the first two elements multiplied by any other element should be equal the same so let's just take ex another example to make sure that you understand it let's take this one so four and five so we have four and one uh, three and three when you multiply them they equals each other just do it with all the other uh, values so this is the math behind this problem and it's a pretty easy to solve this problem once you know the math behind it so let's go i will say first of all i wanna wanna get the um, get y diff and this one 
it will be a function of course and I will say um, it takes two variables which will be y1 and y2 um, let's yeah y1 and y2 and what I will say that I'm returning y1 minus y2 and the same thing would be with the uh, with x you know what i don't have to do this one i could just code it directly but let's just let's see if i need it or not uh it will be x instead of y let's see if i need it but i guess i will i will delete this one so let's just let diff x okay let's make underscore so it will be easier to be seen let div x and this one will equals mm, okay okay i guess we don't need this one um this one will equals okay the the difference between the two x is the first element of the second element so i will say coordinate of uh one and uh, because it's uh uh, x so it's zero because we have x and y minus um, coordinate yeah we don't need this we don't need this it is the same but zero zero yeah and it will be we have different in y so it will be one and one right and um yeah i guess yeah okay so we have the, the difference right now okay so let's just start to make the loop and do the the, the equation that we uh, we we have talked about so i'll say for let i equals two because we want to start looping through the first the third one because it's it's a pretty obvious if you have two car if you have two points any two points have straight lines it becomes quite uh, tedious when we go to the third so let i equals two i less than coordinates the length i plus plus and so i want to say if the coordinate uh no before before we want to see that if the difference in y multiplied by um the coordinate okay let's just make this one. coordinate of of um i of the first y minus the coordinate of this because we all the time do it with the first element okay i'll just okay i'll say something here let lm different y and this one it will equal this and let lm different x and this should be equals coordinate zeros because the x is a zero and if if element of y difference y doesn't equal we return false and otherwise we return true if we 
continue looping. Let's submit. Okay, everything was wrong. Why? Because let's just see. Oh, this it should be zero now on. Oh, still wrong. Why? Okay, let's just think about this one. We said the the difference. Oh, it's it's in. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. X, no, I, it should be uh, the the other way around. Yeah. Okay. So um, that's it for this video. I hope my solution was quite good. If you like my content, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And uh, see you in future problems. By the way, before I leave this one, I want to say that if you um didn't like my, my my solution or you thought that there is something that better that i can do please feel free to give me a comment to tell me what the things that you think that i could improve or what are the things that you think that you didn't understand from my solution so i will make sure that maybe i'll give you a comment to just be more specific or maybe i'll create a new video specifically for you and this happened and this happened also more than one time in in the past Maybe I'll do some a specific solution for a problem and this solution wasn't good. Maybe my, my description wasn't good. So when, when someone gives me a comment and just tell me, yeah, hey, I don't like this. I didn't like this um, this solution. So basically what I do, I just I look at my solution. If it really is not good, I will just remove everything and just sort of do it from scratch again to make sure that my content is as good as possible. So yeah, so that's it for this video and see you in future problems.